My name's Paul Hesketh. I've um, had an interest in cars uh, most of my life. Um, and we have behind us a, um, a Kirkham Cobra. Unlike most of the Cobras in Australia, which tend to be kit cars, this is a hand-built car in uh, aluminium uh, with a tubular chassis. Uh, the cars are designed by Kirkham Brothers in Salt Lake City in Utah. And um, the story uh, goes that uh, David Kirkham's uh, brother collects uh, military aircraft and he had a MiG fighter jet uh, that was built for the Soviet military. And um, David Kirkham took an interest in the quality of the uh, sheet metal work, uh, found out where the cars were being built, which was a uh, facility in Poland. And uh, within a short period, they'd set up a contract and they were uh, hand building aluminium bodies and tubular steel chassis for the Kirkham brothers. Uh, the chassis body are built in, in Poland, shipped to uh, Salt Lake City, and Kirkhams do a 100% build of the car. You can't buy these as a kit. Uh, you can specify the engine and gearbox. They're basically sold to, to order. This particular one uh, has a 468 cubic inch 7.6 litre uh, Shelby American engine in it and it's running off a carburetor, a Holly 850 carburetor. So you, you get that natural um, raw uh, sound from the exhaust. It's fully licensed here in Western Australia. It took me seven months to, uh, to uh, license it. Uh, so there's quite a bit of work done for the emissions and sound and safety features uh, that were a prerequisite from the DOT. But well, that's all been done and uh, she's a, a car that can be driven every day. It does have a mild camshaft put in it, uh, which provides a lot of low down torque. So obviously the power to weight ratio on this car is, is quite extreme. With the mild cam, it does permit you to uh, drive um, relatively slow in, in uh, traffic. So it's, um, it's not a car that uh, only wants to be driven hard, driven fast, you can relax and, and drive it um, as an everyday car. Um, I've had it uh, three years now and uh, it provides a, a, lot of, a lot of fun and enjoyment. I can imagine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So how did, you, how did you come about acquiring the car? Yeah, good question James. The, um, I'd always liked the shape of the Cobras, but I, I never fancied um, obtaining a kit car. Yep. That, that didn't interest me, uh, or something made of fiberglass. I do understand people that do that sort of thing. It's, it's just not for me. And then I just happened to be searching on YouTube one day and came across the, uh, the Kirkham car, and it just blew me away. Um, David Kirkham, the president, he also runs the CNC machining on the shop floor. So you'll see items on this like um, billet aluminium wishbones, yeah. uh, stainless steel fuel tank. Um, the attention to detail and the choice of materials is second to none. It's absolutely superb. Um, so when I saw these on, on YouTube, I thought, wow, this is something I'd love to, to get my hands on. But thought there'd be little chance here in Oz uh, without importing from the States. So uh, I was quite excited when I saw one uh, for sale on car sales in Victoria. And um, the rest is history. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. I've also got a GT3, uh, 991.2. And uh, that car came from Adelaide. Uh, and it was originally wrapped in 2018 by Maguire's. And um, I was pretty impressed with the, with the, the wrap on that. So when I inquired uh, with Maguire's, who, uh, who would you recommend in uh, Western Australia? 
uh, there was no hesitation. Uh, Mad Inc was the place to, uh, to come to. And I knew I'd made the right decision when, uh, when I walked in and met the, you and, and Nick and the staff. Um, just a great bunch of people to, to do business with and you can see the, um, the quality of the work is, um, is very, very easy to identify. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and the facilities of her. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's an um, awesome space to work in. It is, yeah, I can, I can see that. And, uh, yeah, it's um, the work that's been done on the Cobra, which is a uh, front-end wrap and some protection on the rear guards is um, absolutely flawless. It's stunning. Yeah, mm. and we have, um, we have some shots that, that detail the process of the installation. Um, there are no pre-existing paint protection film templates for the Cobra, as yeah. I'm sure is not a surprise. Yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, one of our paint protection film installers, Matthias, created the templates uh, from scratch. Yep. Um, so he's measured it all by hand and cut them and plotted them himself. Um, for, a, for a car with panels that are as challenging as the Cobra, um, because of the cur their curvature and things like that, um, it is not an easy install by any means. Um, and even uh, you know where we have done our best to minimise uh, edges, wherever there are gaps, we have filled them with separate pieces to ensure that full coverage, full protection. Um, and so we're equally thrilled about the about the job that's been done, and um, we think it's it will be it will serve the car really well. Yeah, yeah, no, it's great. Very impressed. So then it sounds like we need to Listen what to what we need to do now is we need to take it for a drive. Yeah, <laughs> let's do it. Awesome. Now we get to listen to the 7.6 liter V8. <laughs>
Thank you for bringing the car in. Um, it's, yeah, it's been an incredible opportunity to see it and to work on it and um, thank you for letting us film it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're very welcome. Well. Um, very and for, uh, yeah, uh, sharing your story with the car. Um, yeah. yeah, it's uh, an incredible, incredible privilege. So thank yeah, you for that. My pleasure. Um, and thank you. Thank you to our audience for watching. Um, if you enjoy these kinds of videos and uh, everything else that we do on our channel, feel free to uh, check out our other things, um, either on our social media or here on our YouTube channel, and we'll see you next time.